The girl tasted the food. Ah, uh, she had never tasted frozen food from a store before. She had never tasted canned food from a store before. But now she was in college. She had no choice. You see, she grew up on a farm with her 10 brothers and sisters and her mother and father grew huge gardens and they depended on those gardens for all their food. Her mother was a scientific genius when it came to canning foods and storing foods for the winter. And so she grew up tasting and eating the most delicious things. How it all started was the woman got married when she was about 13 years old. And at 14, she began to have children. They had two children. So she told her husband, listen, if I'm going to have children, I'm going to need a farm because I intend to have six children. Well, her husband complied and they got the farm. And they started having more children and they grew huge gardens right behind the house. Everything in those gardens, peas, tomatoes, carrots, onions, everything you could name they had close to the house and they depended on those foods. Then more children came. So the mother decided she needed a corn field so they would have enough corn to eat and enough to sell so that she could take care of her children. So they, planted the corn and grew the corn field and sold the corn and ate the corn and continued to live off the gardens. And then more children came. And the mother decided that on the hill behind the corn field would be a nice place for a pea patch. And so she grew several varieties of peas, all kinds of peas. And she would can some and freeze some and take some to the market to sell. And that's how they live. So the girl grew up all her life eating these wonderful, wonderful foods. So when she tasted that food, when she went to college, she was in for quite a shock. I know that girl very well because that girl is me. I am storyteller Tammy Hall, and I grew up eating wonderful, wonderful foods grown by my mother and my father. And as years uh, went on, I learned to plant and to grow. All of the children learned to plant and to grow. And now my mother is 95 years old and she still lives on that farm and horses roam where once gardens grew. But now the grandchildren are here, the great grandchildren are here. And our goal this summer is to teach them how to plant, how to grow, to continue the legacy of gardening, and depending on the land for some wonderful, wonderful foods. That's it. Greetings, everybody. Welcome to Green Thumbs 37th Annual Grow Together Conference. I am storyteller Tammy Hall, and I'm so delighted to be here with you today to share some fun tales and hopefully some poignant tales that you might enjoy. So have a great time at the conference and let me just go ahead and get started with something fun. This story uh, was written by Tolstoy, Leo Tolstoy. It's a very short story, but I think it's kind of funny. I hope you like it. A peasant decided one night that he was going to steal watermelon from the farmer's garden. So as he was creeping on the ground, planning how he was gonna steal these watermelons, he got lost in thought. And he thought to himself, well, if I could steal a whole bag, then I can, can sell them. And then I could buy myself a nice juicy hen who will lay many eggs. When the eggs hatch, I'll have many chicks. I can sell the chicks and buy myself a nice fat sow who will make many piglets. Then I can sell the piglets and buy myself a fine mare. The mare will produce many tiny coats. I can sell the coats and I will buy myself a big house and I'll have a big garden and I'll grow many watermelons, but I certainly won't be foolish enough to have them stolen. I'll have watchmen and I myself will guard the garden. And if a thief should come, 
I will yell, watch carefully. He was so lost in thought. He didn't realize he was yelling. But when he yelled, the watchman guarding the farmer's garden watched him carefully all right. They chased him down and beat him soundly and chased him out of the garden. And that is exactly what a watermelon thief deserves. And that's the end of that tale.